I'm Professor Patrick, and welcome to the Science of Fun. Today, we're going to be building a homemade anemometer. So an anemometer is a device that's used to measure wind speeds. Now you gotta remember when we're using this, that one rotation per minute equals one mile per hour. So if it rotates 10 times in a minute, you're going 10 miles per hour. All right, so for today's experiment, the materials that you're going to need are three wooden dowels, the same length, and are slightly thicker and longer than barbecue skewers. We're going to need five Dixie cups, or those little drinking cups from your bathroom. We're going to need a hole punch, and you're going to need an empty two liter soda bottle. You're also going to be needing tape for this experiment. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the wooden dowel inside of the two liter soda bottle. You can see I've already done that. Next, you're going to put a hole punch in your Dixie cups. So in four of them, you're going to put a hole punch in the exact same spot. It's going to be right down at the bottom, or as far down as you can get with your hole punch. So on my hole punch, I can only get about half the length. Put the hole punch in, pull it out. That's where we're going to be putting the dowels later. Then you're going to have one Dixie cup that has hole punches all around the rim and one hole punch in the bottom. The hole punches around the rim, the ones that are directly across from each other should be in line, and then the second pair that is directly across from each other should be slightly lower than the first pair. That way you can get the dowels through them and they can make an X shape without the dowels con connecting or having any problems getting the dowels through the Dixie Cups. Like this. Okay, so I just taped my wooden dowel into my bottle to keep the dowel steady. So now we're going to put the Dixie Cup with the hole in the bottom and the two dowels protruding from it on top of the first dowel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put each Dixie Cup facing the left onto a wooden dowel. Secure the Dixie Cup onto the dowel. We're going to take a piece of duct tape, put it on top of the dowel, and then push it down on either side. That way it connects to the cup. Then we'll rotate the dowel and it'll be functional as a piece of the anemometer. So the best way to do this is to get your dowel all the way through, touching the other side, but almost flat to the bottom, and then have a thin piece of tape, put it down in the back, past the dowel, that way it's going over it, and still have enough tape left over in the front to be able to do a tab at the bottom and get it plenty tight holding down the cup. So always remember, before beginning this experiment, you have to put an X on the back of one of your anometer pieces. That way you know how many rotations it's been. So now we're ready to start. So this is what your completed anemometer should look like. So there you have it, a homemade, inexpensive anemometer. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you had a lot of fun with this, and next time we're going to be learning about greenhouse effects. Thanks, I'm Professor Patrick, and this has been the Science of Fun.